This is El Capitan, the captain. It's the most famous rock formation in Yosemite. And it's famous because, first of all, it's a cliff that's super tall. It's about 3,000 feet into the air. And many people climb it. People come here from all over the world to try to climb it because it's this huge cliff. And it got even more famous a few years ago when they made this movie about a guy. His name was Alex something. <laughs> I think I have his last name here. But he did a free solo climb of this. A free solo climb means he didn't use any equipment. He just used his bare hands, bare feet, which is absolutely insane. So yes, El Capitan was climbed by Alex Honnold in 2017. And this was such an amazing feat that it inspired the movie that's called Free Solo as well. And I'm going to come a little closer to it. But it really, looking at it, yeah, it's hard to comprehend how tall this is. Like it's almost 900, 900 meters or something like that, almost a kilometer, like over half a mile. In which, whichever scale you want to use, this thing is absolutely huge. Like, just look at it. Like, even using my wide angle lens, I kind of miss some of the parts of it just because of the sheer enormity of it. And I don't see any people climbing today. Maybe it's the season, maybe it's the time of the day, but it must be super fucking hard to climb this thing because it's, it's pretty much a rock. Like, like, it's almost a wall kind of place. And this dude climbed it without using any gear, which is super impressive. Like, this dude was a badass. I mean, he is, he's still alive. And he made it his life mission to climb El Capitan. So he took years of preparation, of coming here, of climbing parts of it, until one day he finally got it and he climbed the whole mountain. Which shows you some inspiration, doesn't it? Because there are things in life that we want to do, but sometimes we think, oh no, it's too hard. I I'm, won't be bothered by it. But Alex Honnold, he didn't give a shit. He really wanted to do it. He loved free soloing. He practiced all his life until eventually in 2017, he was able to be the first one to climb El Capitan free solo. So if there's anything in life that you want to do, just do it, man. Use Alex as inspiration and think about all of the parts of the fundamentals that you'll need to to be to need to master so that you can become the best at your craft and scale your own El Capitan. So this was El Capitan in Yosemite National Park, USA. Keep rocking.